The opposition People's Democratic Party will on Thursday, that is today, screen nominees for the vice presidential position. Hello and welcome back to Newsroom Nigeria. This is where we give you hot, fresh and sizzling news all day long. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, now is the right opportunity for you to subscribe. You don't want to miss the juicy news we'll be bringing to you on this channel. So stay subscribed. You see that red button down below? Go and click on it. Also, give this video a thumbs up. Most importantly, click on the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we post. Without further ado or delay, let's dive straight into the details of today's news. A chieftain of a party who confided in one of our correspondents on Wednesday said, contrary to reports, three candidates were shortlisted for the position, not one has reported by some newspapers. According to him, those shortlisted include Delta State Governor Dr. Ifai Okowa, his River State counterpart Nelson Wiki, and the Akwaibom State Governor Udom Emmanuel. This came to the fore on Wednesday and supporters of Okowa and Wiki disagreed over the party's VP slot. There were reports on Wednesday that a committee headed by the V uh, headed by the PDP Deputy Chairman Ambassador Umaru Damagun had on Tuesday nominated Wiki as the running mate of the former VP Atiku Abubakar when 13 out of the four, 17 members voted in favor of the River State Governor. When contacted on Wednesday, the PDP spokesman Debo Olo Ologun Agba told the news that the nomination of Wiki remained a rumor. He stated that the party is going through its processes. When it comes in a name, it will be announced. We don't rely on rumor. We don't work on that. In the next couple of hours, or probably just before the expiration of the time, we will come out with a position and the name will be announced. But a member of the PDP advisory committee disclosed to one of our correspondents on Monday that Three names were recommended by the panel. According to the source, the three aspirants were recommended, who were recommended would face the screening committee on, of the party before the party's final decision would be made known to the public. The source said, the matter is not in the hands of Atiku yet. When the committee members are done with their job, they will report back to the leadership of the party. That committee recommended three people, not just one, as is currently being speculated in the media. But according to the Coalition of South South and South East Youth Forum, Okoa remains the best man for vice presidential slot. The coordinator of the group, Mr. Eze Womanu, in an interview with the news stated, Governor Okowa is a man with proven records that can deliver peace and unity to Nigerians, adding that his good work of transforming the state and ensuring peaceful coexistence among indigents and non-indigents of the state can be attested to. The decision of endorsing Okowa is to ensure that Atiku has a running mate who would support him in rescuing the country from the insecurity and social vices that have its Nigeria under the Buhari-led administration. On their part, the executive assistant to the governor on communication, Mr. Fred, and the chairman of Wari South local government area, Dr. T.D. Michael said Atiku needed a trustworthy, incorruptible, competent, wise, good listener 
intelligent and experienced politician to be by his side as vice president, a top government official and chieftains of the party who spoke to our correspondent on the condition of anonymity, said Okowa had the population of Christians on his side. When you talk of national structures, acceptability, give it to Okowa, the relationship between Okowa, Khan and PFN is very cordial compared to Wiki. It can woo the Christian community for Atiku. It does not talk too much, but thinks faster, and his role in national assignments over the years gives him an edge over Wiki. In terms of voters, there is not much difference between Delta and Rivers voters, so it is not an edge for Wiki over Okoa. We are talking of acceptability among the six geopolitical zones, he said. The Delta State Commissioner for Information, Mr. Charles Aniogu, said the PDP would unveil articles running mate on Thursday, adding that the report on Wiki's nomination was a rumor. Also, the Chief Press Secretary to the Governor, Mr. Ulissa Ifeajika, stated, it is the party and the candidates that pick vice president it is not a contest or race nobody buys a form for it rather the party and the candidates take decision who to pick based on good performance but a pdp and former river state commissioner for information and communication obona woke said picking governor wiki as vice presidential running mate would be the right cho choice. Woke in an interview with the news said Atiku and Wiki would make a good pair and they both had political structures and leadership acumen. He said, if we were to look at what transpired during the PDP presidential primaries, we will all agree that Wiki ran a strong race for a newcomer. Therefore, if Wiki and Atiku's political structures are brought together, it will be in the best interest of the PDP. We are happy that a great majority of people in the party believe that Wiki indeed has what it takes to be the running mate to Atiku. We are aware a committee has been constituted and a final report will come and we are very hopeful anyway right now that these are just speculations and people's opinions we actually don't know who the candidate who the vice presidential candidate is going to be at the end of the day it's either wiki or okowa but anyway any which way we are going to be giving you feedback on this channel so in order to stay tuned and get juicy news tips from us, go ahead and subscribe. It's the like button. Most importantly, click on the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we post. I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.